In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can use MoGraph's effectors to control the blend mode on the cloner. So in a previous tutorial, we already looked at how the blend mode will allow you to smoothly interpolate between the objects that are children of the cloner. So here we have one version of the snowflake. I'll hide the axis. And uh, here we have another. And uh, here you can see that in the grid array, we've got that first version and the last. And we're smoothly interpolating between those two versions. Well, what we want to do now is actually control this with effectors, which is where things really get fun. And so the first thing you might want to do is zero out the blend state so that all the clones are the same. And to do that, what you're going to do is go in and add a plane effector. And again, make sure that the uh, cloner is selected so that the effector is automatically applied. And the key parameter here is the modify clone. We'll go ahead and turn off position for now. And we'll just go ahead and increase the modify clone. And you can see now with modify clone at 100%, we're getting the final blend state on all of the clones. Now, to get the initial blend state, you might think that you could just do minus 100%, but that doesn't really work out. So what you need to do instead is basically invert the effect of this particular effector. And the easiest way to do that is to go onto the effector tab and just change the maximum value here to minus 100%. And that basically reverses the whole effector. Now, of course, we can layer additional effectors on top of this and take advantage of fall off. So let's go ahead and add an additional plane effector. And again, in the parameter tab, we're going to turn off position and modify clone 100%. And you can see as I did that, we uh, made those clones all the final blend state. And I'll go into the fall off tab here and we'll just enable the linear fall off. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And now if I uh, show my axis, I can move the fall off zone here and actually blend between those snowflake states. So that's something else we can do. Uh, what I like to do, and I'm just going to turn off both of those, what I like to do a lot is just simply go in and add a random effector and go in here and randomize the clone parameter. So now we've got all of these random snowflakes. And if I want to change the distribution, I can always go in here and adjust the seed value. Uh, and what's also kind of cool is if you go in here to the random mode, you can change this to noise. And now it's actually going to animate between the various blend states. That's a little bit too fast, so we can bring the animation speed down to something like 25%. And uh, I think that's kind of a cool effect there as well. So uh, that is a look at some of the ways that you can use MoGraph effectors to control the cloner's blend mode. And remember, the key here is the modify clone parameter, which changes the blend state from the initial blend state to the final blend state.